But we have three main galleries here. History Gallery, which is Manhattan Project history, uh, and also the history of the time. You know, what was going on scientifically and politically that argued for President Roosevelt to start a Manhattan Project, and then what was our work. We, we tell about some of the other Manhattan Project work, maybe you all know. The Manhattan Project was a coast-to-coast -coast project, and we we're just one part of it here. We were Project Y of the Manhattan Project, uh, the, the part of the project that was tasked very specifically with designing and developing the first atomic weapon. And so that gallery tells a little bit of that whole story, but really concentrates on Project Y um, and the work that we did here and the people who did that work. In that gallery is an auditorium, and that auditorium uh, shows throughout the day our signature film, which is called The Town That Never Was. It uses historic newsreel footage to take you back in time to that era and again explains what was going on and what the Manhattan Project was all about and, um, and shows you what it was like to be an employee here at the laboratory during that time. I don't I don't personally like to look at these chronologically, so with me, I first go to the history gallery and see that film, and then I go to the defense gallery. That pretty much picks up the story, takes you back over, uh, and shows you the very accurate scale models, uh, or excuse me, accurate models, full scale, of Fat Man and Little Boy, which were the products uh, of our work during Project Y. And um, other work that we have done since that time, um, uh, further uh, work on um, national nuclear defense. And in that gallery as well is a presentation and a film on our current mission, the main current mission, which is called Stockpile Stewardship. How we are tasked with doing all sorts of assessments on warheads to ensure that they're safe, secure, and reliable for our country's defense. Um, so, and that film shows throughout the day. Both of these films, by the way, are, are about 16 minutes long, so easily done in, in one visit. Um, and uh, then our third gallery is our research gallery that tells a little bit more of the story of other work that goes on here or the associated capacities that we have because of our main uh, nuclear weapons work, such as our supercomputing capabilities here at the laboratory, uh, work that we've done on the Human Genome Project. A lot of people don't know that we were active in the Human Genome Project, and even today, I mean, we still are doing a lot on genomics, specifically on understanding pathogens and how those can be global threats, and um, so that we can help uh, develop uh, strategies for protecting ourselves against that. Uh, we talk about energy in there, um, different energy programs that we have, um, our, our proton linear accelerator that's here at the laboratory that does research on materials and how they're built. Um, and that's also, interestingly, um, that's a, a, a facility that makes medical radioisotopes um, used for therapies and also for imaging. And then the third part of our, or excuse me, another part of our footprint, it's not exactly a gallery, but it's tech lab that's right in the back there off of the research gallery. That's a hands-on space for families, children to enjoy um, doing interactive things. Right now we're featuring brain games, which is about ready to premiere another table of, of um, very interesting puzzles that you can try your hand at. Uh, they, they go into um, helping you understand the kinds of cognitive work a scientist uses to decipher scientific problems with those brain games.